Hi, YouTubers and webchambers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with our video. Well, this morning we're going to have a shave with Clubman Pinot Shave Lather. Yeah, some of you out there have asked for a shave with this product. You use a brush with this. I've done two previous shaves with their Shave Butter and also their uh, Classic Barber Shave Cream. And those two are brushless. But this one, you use a brush with it. And uh, speaking of brushes, we're going to be using a Samoog 830 Excelsior brush. 90% uh, tops bore hair. That's a really nice brush. Very, very, very soft. I'm going to be whipping it up in my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl. For my razor, I'm going to be using my Edwin Jagger Barley Razor. Yeah, I, I, I promised to use this razor in, a, in an upcoming video. Well, here we are. Uh, I, <laughs> I messed up in a previous video and ended up uh, using the Edwin Jagger DE89L by accident, but this is the Barley Razor and it is an absolutely beautiful razor. It has almost a ball end here, but it's got this beautifully tight, tight, tight knurling here. Really tight knurling and it's beautifully chrome. It has the same great Edwin Jagger razor head that you find on the DE89L. It's a little bit lighter, but not much. Not much lighter than the DE89L. It's a terrific razor. Really, really nice. I'm going to be using an Astra razor blade. And I'm going to finish it off with Shash Allen Block. And also some Pinot, Clubman Pinot Aftershake. Classic, classic stuff. Now, um, I did do a review of the Clubman Pinot Classic Barber Shave Cream. This is brushless, as I mentioned. And a viewer said that they use this as pre-shave. And that's what I'm going to do here this morning. I'm going to use a little bit of this as pre-shave. So that's what we're going to do. So, hey, I'm all set. My brush is soaking in some warm water. I got some hot water in my shaving bowl to heat it up a little bit. And uh, I'm ready to go. So let's wet the face with some warm water. And let's get to this shave. Okay. Now I have a generous amount of water on my face. And in using this product uh, as just a shave cream, uh, I don't wet the face that much. I let this product do all of that wetness and moisturizing. But because I'm using it as a pre-shave cream, I'm going to allow myself a little bit more water and spread this a little more thinly on the face. And... Um, let the shave lather do all the job, all the work of building a lather, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to work into my hands here and work into the face as a pre-shave cream. Kind of a one-two punch. You get the slickness of this and then you get the, the beauty of the lather from the shave lather shaving cream. And you can see that it really is disappearing into the skin. Which is why when you use this as a shave, a shaving cream, that's why I don't use a lot of water when I'm using it as a shaving cream because then uh, it doesn't thin as much and I can see it a little more clearly on the face. But we're using it as a pre-shave, so a little more water, no harm, no foul. Let me rinse my hands off here, towel them off. Let's get this out of the way. Alrighty, got some hot water here in my shaving bowl, and we're going to dump that. We're going to get some shaving cream. Now, this comes out very thinly. Comes out very thinly, I don't know if I can show you this. Comes out really, really thin. Can you see that? No, not because of the cap. Comes out really thin, see that? So I try to get a little more, because it's kind of an optical illusion, but you know what? That should be more than enough right there. And I'm gonna put it in a bowl right there, like that. Oop, a little water dripped out. Okay, let me get my brush. Here it is. Give it a little shake, nice and damp. I like to take that remnant there and just put a little bit of that in the bristles. All right, here we go. I'm going to build a lather here, and I may need to add water to this. We'll see. I'm 
probably should have gone with a brush with a little longer handle. <laughs> but this will work fine. It's whipping up very quickly. Very, very quick. I'm going to add a little water. I'm just going to dip the tips into the sink water there and get a little more water. Wow, that's, that's almost there. That's fast. Wow. Normally with this bore brush, I'm using my regular uh, Chairman Shaving Bowl. And uh, beautiful pairing of those, of this brush with that bowl. This brush, this bowl can be used um, to whip up a lather. You can also throw a shaving puck in there too. Uh, a shaving soap puck because it has that nice depth to it. Okay, so this, I, you know what? Just a little, just a little more water. Look at, that, look at that, how that's, wow, that's, I think that's just about done. Just a little more water, just to be on the safe side. Okay, there we go. That's done, that's got it. All right, let's paint this on. Wow. Nice coverage. Look at that. That's a nice lather. I have plenty there yet. I've got some good beard growth here too. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to set that aside right there. I'm going to rinse my hands. Now, a lot of online tutorials regarding wet shaving. Uh, some of them will say you want to let this sit on your face and moisturize the whisker. And you know what? This is a good time then to load your razor blade. Let the lather sit on your face and do that moisturizing, softening, that sort of thing. Not so much moisturizing as softening the beard. So we're going to do that. We're going to get my uh, blade here and we're just going to let that lather sit there and soften the beard and add moisturizing properties to it and that sort of thing. Okay, there it is. Astra Blade. Okay, so now. All right. Okay, there it is. And as one viewer said, boy, the blade alignment and blade balance on these Edwin Jagger razors are just spot on. And they are. They are. All right, so let's heat this razor up. All right, a little swirl in the sink there to bring it up to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's smooth, smooth and mild. Very nice. Well, that's a, that is a real mild, mild pass. So far. A lot of nice slickness and protection. The whisker is just being mowed down very comfortably. Very nice. Wow, that's really, really smooth. Got that great Clubman scent, really nice. Did a nice job on the chin, although I'm gonna definitely have to be aware of that on the second pass though.
Well, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Well, that was um, a good first pass. A nice initial knockdown of the beard. So let's go ahead and paint some more of this on. And again, I have plenty here. I've got enough for more than enough for three passes. If you want, you can do a little bit of face lathering here to help spread it out a little more. This is a very, very soft brush. I, when I first got it, I was very surprised at how soft it was, how soft it is. Really nice. <laughs> Uh, Hazard's having a big honker. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's got it. Very nice. Got a towel here, wiping my hands off, make sure they're dry enough, because that. Uh, that pre-shave, the classic barber shave cream that I'm using as a pre-shave. Very, very slick, and there's a lot of slickness in the sink water here right now. Okay, so we're going to do pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And when I do these shaves, you can see that I'm not using my opposing hand to stretch my skin. Some wet shavers like to do that. I just use my facial muscles. I don't want to stretch my skin too much. I just want to stretch it enough to cleanly cut that whisker to right to the, um, right down to the skin. Not below the skin, right down to the skin. Boy, that's, that's smooth. That is really, really very, very smooth. I think the Astra Blade and this razor are a really nice pairing. So here, I'm going to stretch my chin out here like that in order to stretch it out to get that whisker. A little bit of a hollow right here. Don't always get that. Got to do a little touch up sometimes. Depends on the razor too. So this one has got a mild, this one's got a mild quality. So that's why. All right. Nice maneuverability to get all those little bits up there. Very nice. All right, third pa uh, <laughs> second pass done. Let's rinse. Getting ahead of myself. Yeah, um, good enough to go to the office right now. That's a nice shave, really nice shave, but I'm gonna do a third pass just to show you how much cream we have left here and get a little closer. Been a nice, nice performer. This shaving cream has been terrific. And really, I have enough here for a touch up if I need a touch up. And you know, I mean, look, I mean, I've got so much here. Here, let me show you. See how much I got there? I mean, right there on the edge. Nice slickness, nice protection, very, very comfortable.
very comfortable. I mean, really, <laughs> no pulling, no tugging. Uh, really very nice. Now the handle's a little slick here. Let me just wipe my hands off here a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's uh, some serious slickness there from the water in the sink, as I mentioned before. Okay, pass number three, we're going to go uh, against the grain, south to north. Nice, nice. Got the chin area very nicely too on that third pass. Really got it nice and smooth. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice shave. That's a very, very nice shave. Very nice. I'm gonna do my two final rinses now. One warm, one cold. <laughs> there he is again. <laughs> Hurry up. I do one warm, one cold, warm to get the excess slickness off, and I do have some slickness here that needs to be removed, and a cold, cold water rinse will um, close my pores. So here's my warm water rinse. A lot of slickness that had to be removed, yeah, really a lot of slickness, and uh, boy, a nice soft result, smooth and soft, really nice. All right, so let's go with my uh, cold water rinse here and just wait for that water to get good and cold. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Oh boy, that's brilliant as they say across the pond. That's beautiful. That was really awakening and invigorating. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy, I feel alive again. <laughs> That's a wonderful feeling. As I say, if you're not doing the traditional wet shave with a safety razor, do it. It's a great way to start the day and it's just a terrific feeling. It really is. You're, you're, oh, it's, it's wonderful. My skin feels so soft and smooth and clean and fresh. It just, it's wonderful. It really is. All right, here's my shash. Ellen Block, we're going to run under some cold water, get some feedback here, and see what's what. Ah, that's smooth as ice. Just a little more here. And that's it. Nice. Really nice. Now, I'm going to dry this block off here in a nice soft towel. Uh, I love the, uh, the Shash and Ozma Allen blocks. I always say this, they're made from, they're cut from a larger solid block, so they're solid through and through. Made in France, very nice. Gonna just set that right there in its case, let that air dry, and it'll be ready for tomorrow morning shave. All right, I'm gonna do a little cleanup here, a little mop up. And I'll be back to finish up this shave. Okay. All right, that's got it. Just uh, clean this bore brush. Just gently wring it. And then uh, just give it some shakes and just buff it on a towel. And it's not 100% dry, but it's getting there. So all you have to do now is 
hang this and let it dry the rest of the way. But it cleans up fairly quickly, not as, not as, uh, doesn't dry as quickly as a, a synthetic, but uh, it still uh, surprisingly dries up uh, more quickly than you would imagine. So that's all set right there. So we'll just set that on right there out of the way. And we're going to get Clubman Pinot Aftershave. Classic scent, perfect scent to follow this shave. Uh, the Clubman Pinot Shave Lather. Going to get a little bit in there like that. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That is a true, if you've not tried this, get this. This is just a classic, I would say a classic barbershop scent. And it's got that masculine quality to it. Really, really nice. Okay, so to wrap up the shave, I usually use Avon Wild Country for upstairs. But if you read the directions on the Clubman Classic Barber Shave Cream, it says after the shave, take the excess and rub into the skin as a moisturizer. So that's what I'm going to do. And you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit up there. That's all you need. And you can... That's not enough. Just go a little more if you need to go a little more. If you go too much, uh, you know, it ends up looking white up there, like <laughs> as if you're going to start shaving your head, but you just need a little bit. And that acts as a nice moisturizer up there. Obviously, if I was going to shave my head with this stuff, I would use much more so you would see it. But That's it. Great shave. Really, really terrific. Wow, Club and Shave Lather. Really nice. Great scent. Nice, nice coverage. Good cushion. I really enjoy it. Has some great slickness to it, but the uh, classic Barber Shave Cream. A one-two punch here. Really, this was a great pre-shave for this shave lather. Really, very, very nice. I think the Astro Blade and the Edwin Jagger Barley Razor did a wonderful job. I have got such a nice smooth shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. A really, really nice result this morning. So, you know what? If you're going to get the shave lather, you might as well get the classic barber shave cream also. You can use it as a pre-shave. You can also use it as brushless. If you're in a hurry, you want to build a lather, use the Clubman uh, Pinot Shave Lather. It whips up beautifully with a, uh, well, you saw a natural hairbrush, and I'm sure it would work well with the synthetic as well. All right, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Comment below, let me know. Check out my Amazon page where I have all these products listed that I've reviewed on this channel. They're nicely categorized and organized so you can find them. That's at amazon.com slash shop slash Thanks very much for tuning in again, and I'll see you again real soon.